Right, so after we talked about the purpose of meiosis, we're going to look at actually what happens. So again, we start with a sperm, one chromosome, and they start with an egg with one chromosome. They fertilize, and you produce a two end cell. Now that's then going to go through. How come they now only have one chromosome? They do have one chromosome. Round 23. Oh, because if I do 23, we'll be here forever. So I don't get how they go from one to twenty-three. It's just another. It's just an example. I don't understand because when when people say it having chromosomes, does another one with one chromosome. So we've got one chromosome and one chromosome give us a two N cell, mm -hmm. which has got two chromosomes in it. The next phase is they replicate, which is interphase. So what we see then is we see this, because they've replicated, condensed, and then they appear in prophase. Prophase is for appear. Now in prophase, something else happens. So the chromosomes are spindly little things, which are pretty delicate. Now, they will line up. Now, one of these, this is called a chromatid. This is called a chromatid. Mm -hmm. And this is a semi-conservatively copied one of these. So this contains one of the old strands and one of the new strands of the copying of DNA by DNA polymerase. Now these are a homologous pair of chromosomes. So homo is the same. So this is homologous pair. And they've lined up together in a process called synapsis. And a homologous pair is called a bivalent or bivalent. You remember this vaguely? Yeah. Now, as they line up in a homologous pair, forming a bivalent, they then may break off at this point here, and that point is called a chiasma. And the plural is chiasmata. Now, at this point, it may break and s exchange bits of DNA. So that you then end up with a chromosome which is a hybrid of the maternal and the paternal DNA. Okay, so go back to this at the end of prophase. The next step is that they're going to line up in their homologous pair. Either side of the equator in metaphase. And those sp the spindle fibres are going to attach to the centromere and they're going to pull these. This one's going to get pulled that way and this one's going to get pulled that way. So now they're going to get pulled apart and the cells then are going to split to give you that and that. Now, there were two chromosomes here, there are two chromosomes there, there are two chromosomes there, and now, at the end of meiosis 1, there is one chromosome here and one chromosome here. So we've gone from being a 2N cell to being an N cell. So this has been gone from being diploid to these ones are now haploid. What's going to happen next is that that is then going to get pulled apart again in the second set of division. So more, this again goes through, it's done interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase of meiosis 1 and it then does prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase of meiosis 
too. Which that all happens after <coughs> meiosis one. Yeah, so you have meiosis one first, which takes the homologous pair of chromosomes and pulls them apart, mm -hmm. produces these two cells, yeah. and then the next step is to take that and then spindle fibers grow out and then it pulls apart that chromosome from the middle and the centromere splits and we end up with one chromosome we've gone from one chromosome from two chromosomes here to one chromosome there one chromosome there and then when this centromere has split, the chromatids have become chromosomes. Okay. And we've got one chromosome, one chromosome, one chromosome, one chromosome. If we go back to where we started from, we started with a sperm and an egg who have one chromosome. They came together, produced a diploid cell. Okay. That diploid cell grew by mitosis. And then when it came to having to divide, it then needed to do a reductive division which it did through meiosis. Now meiosis began with interphase, which was DNA replication, protein synthesis, organelle synthesis. Prophase, the chromosomes condense and appear, carry out synapses, form bivalents, engaging crossing over, which is exchange of information between maternal and paternal chromosomes. Metaphase, they line up in homologous pairs on the equator. Anaphase, the homologous pairs get pulled apart, a is for a part. Telophase, they form two. Then it goes through the second division, which is again is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So in prophase, again, I'm sorry, in metaphase, they line up on the middle. In anaphase, the centromeres this time get pulled apart because the centromeres split. And then in telophase, they form two cells. So by that way, you've carried out a reductive division because you've gone from a 2N cell to 4N cells.